welcome to Rachel Scale Modeling. This is for the Airfix HMS Law Slaves Scale 1350. Now this is a, a build from start to finish on this video. Um, don't, not going to go into great detail here on this build. And um, it was just a, a little fun build uh, to get me uh, through the old isolation that's going on. So uh, let's jump into it. So to start off with, it's a, a case of uh, just tidying up any little bobs on the deck uh, before I, I start um, painting. I wasn't happy with that. The, the first process is to, to, to put in these uh, aircraft lifts. Now depending on how you want to do it, you can have these up, down, um, up partial and so forth. So I've got the, I'm going to set them up at two different levels. I'm going to start painting the, the deck um, with a, a, a grey. So the, the colour is um, Hubbro 64 light grey. Um, I'll, I'll let it change it uh, to a darker colour uh, when, I'm, when I go along because I, I thought maybe the light grey was just too light. I didn't, the photos I was looking at didn't really reflect well um, how the deck's meant to be. So um, what, once I put the, that first coat on, it's time to attach the, um, the, the platforms. And the, there's just a little brackets here that um, you, you put the, the, this, the side panels in and you can put them at different angles and that um, donates the height the actual platform. As you can see I've got them at two slightly different heights. Once that's done um, I move it on to the um, the inner part of the ship. Now for some reason Airfix um, had this incredible detail on, on this part and I can't understand why because the kit's not designed for it to be opened in the in our hulls and workings um, and it's such a shame because you lose all that detail and I did toy with um, leaving the deck off but if you left the deck off then you, you would miss the flight deck and the whole point in an aircraft carrier is to see the flight deck ignore the dog in the background you'll see him quite a lot um, so going back to the ship um, I'm cutting out the decals for the platform just putting them on I thought I would do it now because um, once the flight deck's on it would be quite tricky to to get them in. In the end I had to go back to it and um, sort them out. I made a, a little couple of mistakes but um, I was able to get into it in the end. So that's the main walls done on, on the lower deck and I'm just um, ma making the rivets and that stand out with using Tamiya with a master A, no C, sorry, and um, just using the gun metal on that to um, highlight the rivets and so forth. So when I, that's all done, it's time to uh, build up the inner deck, and um, these are just the, the the side areas that you'll see through the hull, and um, it's quite important to prepare them for the going because you really don't want to be trying to paint this kit um, once it's all complete, like any ship, it's better to paint as you go along. This is why I'm p painting mostly on the sprue, but if you've seen my other videos, you know I do a lot of painting on the sprue anyway. Um, so th these compartments will hold uh, lifeboats and, and things like that. So uh, it's good to get them all done now. So that's one side done, moving on to the other side, and it's uh, much the same again. And then it's um, just building up these compartments. There's a small little fiddly bit you put in. You can't really see much of the detail once it's all in, but if you look closer, you can see it, and it is worth doing it well. So going on to the, the hull, um, masked it off with a 6mm tamiya tape. This is for the waterline mark. So I'm putting in um, Rebel 302 
um, gloss black then on, onto the bottom of the hole and just making up uh, putting in the rudders and the prop shafts and things like that before I, I paint it up and uh, the the reason for that is uh, I've done many of these ships and uh, it's just easier to have it all together before painting and um, this is going to be um, Revo Colour 331 which is a purple red it's my favourite uh, hull red colour to go to it's not quite accurate for a ship but it withers well and when you put the varnish on it it does dull it down a little bit and I think it looks a lot better so uh, again on to the uh, flight deck and this is the start of the um, command tower island so these are all getting painted in 64 light grey um, from Humbro uh, I've used a lot of the Humbro paints here just I haven't used them for a while so I thought we'll go into it there they did need a little bit of clamping uh, done for this but um, the, the side walls make a good anchor point for the clamps to go on and uh, as you can see it's all going there together really well did have a little bit of difficulty but nothing major and any moderate to experienced model maker would be able to handle that if you're a beginner um, again you can do it it's a little bit tricky but if you follow the instruction it should be no problem so as you can see there I'm putting the island together just using some simple clips uh, to hold it together not really necessary to have all those clips on but I just like to make a further job and um, what, once the uh, island's made, the base is made up, it's time to just start building up the, um, the island itself, so the, the funnels, and um, there's a good time there now to put any detailing in that you wish to do. I only put in very slight detailing, didn't put in much, um, I don't think it really called for that much. So there's the dog again, so i uh, putting in the uh, funnel. There's two funnels to put in, very straightforward. It's a uh, Revel 09 at the top, um, and the base colour again is 64 light grey. The, the 64 light grey is going to be the majority of the colour on the ship, and that's one of the reasons why I changed the deck, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, carrying on with the um, command tower island as you're building paint as I said before don't worry about little touch-ups you can uh, touch up later on and uh, just uh, to get it sharpened if you want it to that way to look that way Th there's nothing wrong with leaving it and having a withered um, sort of down look to it you know whether it's a bit uh, scruffy that's perfectly fine as well as you expect, there was a lot of parts to this uh, command tower, but they did fit together rather well. Um, this is just the start of it. Moving on to the, the props, um, I painted these in brass, I believe, and uh, Revel number, I think, it, oh, I can't remember the number, 93 I think it is. Um, moved on to the stand, uh, painted that in a sort of sandy colour and then once I was all done I returned back to the tower once everything was dry and uh, continue with the build up on it and, and that's what I do with the, with these kits I will often skip ahead at one or two um, steps just to uh, build while the other part I was working on is dry depending on much time you have on your, on your hands There is uh, some very small parts to the kit to put on on the tower, so um, a good set of tweezers is a must when you're doing this. And as you can see, a very fine brush um, for all the highlighting and detailing uh, is really needed when you're building this kit. As I said at the start of the build, this is not going to be a comprehensive step-by-step um, -step haul to build the actual kit. 
uh, it's more of a general outline and what I've done, done but you can still follow it and get a general idea um, how the kit goes together um, the main work is on the command tower and flight deck this is the base I'm going over this with um, life color um, deck shadower um, just to give it a weird look on the base Time to go back to the hull and I'm um, just putting in the end piece there. Um, again it fit in really nicely, um, not a lot of glue, glue needed, um, just fitting it in. A little test fitting was needed but nothing major. And once that was in it's uh, turn attention to the bow, making sure it's all lined up properly. And once you're happy with it, I started then building up, preparing for the flight deck to go in. So this is the last piece of the lower deck going in and um, then on to the, the main flight deck. So this is me changing the colour and um, I'm using instead uh, 165 medium C grey on this and then I decided to do a different colour which is the Revo uh, mouse grey number 47 I believe I think it was yeah um, just give it again a, a deeper deeper finish really so there's three coats on it but the very thin coats um, put, putting the um, bottom hole um, on to it was um, again a little bit uh, difficult but um, if you've cemented the, the side parts of the hole together it should be fine there I'm just heating up a bit of sprue um, to, pair, to place in the, the props. And once the that's all done, moved on to the flight deck to, to lay it down onto the hull. And then of course it's uh, building up the side panels of the deck. Now interestingly this uh, kit doesn't come with any um, photo edge handrails or things like that. So you will have to buy them if you want to push your, uh, put them on. I had some spare so I did put some in, especially on the side where there should be safety netting and um, I think the kit could have really done with that inside the kit so that was a bit of a letdown for the effects not to include that um, you know so um, I had to fashion something for myself but I'll go into that uh, later on just uh, putting finishing touches now to the um, command tower. Um, again, tiny little parts. Uh, it's all the little guns and air aerials that need to go on to it. They may take quite a while to do. So I'm using uh, Revel satin white which is a uh, 130 and that's just to paint the um, radar domes and so forth on the ship building the mass um, again um, you, you really need a good point of sharp um, pointed to have tweezers for this the the holes are very very small but everything does fit in. You may have to enlarge the hole slightly on some of the contact points. Um, it's not a, a difficult process. Um, you, you, you know, you can either put your knife in and twiddle it around until the hole um, increases or you can just uh, sand down the contact point a little bit, depending on how you want to do it. Now also, make sure that you, you know your paint line when you're doing it. So as you can see, the top half the command tower is uh, black but some parts are white as well so just make sure when you're doing it that you you, you know where those colors uh, differ as it goes up and paint them before they go on because you, you don't want to be trying mucking around trying um, to paint it as it's on uh, there's the same on the, on the main command deck there's um, little um, rectangular pieces they go on, don't know what they're for um, but they had to be painted white and 
you don't want to be trying to cut in the white uh, through the black because they're very small pieces. So paint before, then put them on. Then, as I said before, you can always touch up at the end, like I'm doing now. Onto the main flight deck now. I'm um, masking off again with the uh, Tamiya uh, 6mm tape and I'm just painting in the darker colour which is 27 C grey from Umbro. Um It's just a, a contrast. Now the kit tells you to paint it darker. Um, I've looked at some photos and it seems to be the same colour but I painted it darker anyway. And um, once that was on, again I was just touching up, then it's onto the, the furniture of the main flight deck and they, they have uh, little planes, helicopters and, and so forth that I've got to go on. Um, so I painted them up and then moved on to the decals. thought I would get the decals on f um, as soon as I could uh, because they, they'll, they take a little while to dry and it was all about time management on this build. Um, the decals weren't exactly 100% clear where to place them so I took a little bit of research, I probably got some things wrong, but overall I was happy where I put them. So now I'm placing in the handrails um, on the island. Um, as I say, these are old handrails that I had, so I'm just kept cutting them off the photo etched sprue, um, putting them on, then I'll be painting them um, light grey, number 64 from Umbro. And once that's all on, it was time to attach the island. Um, it slots in rather nicely. There's a little um, runner on the deck that the island just uh, fits into place with. So not a lot of uh, heavy cement needed. And once that was on, it was, um, you can start thinking about putting in the other um, furniture on the flight deck from aerials to mass and um, to the um, guns and um, cranes for the lifeboats on the side. And uh, this is the other reason why I painted it and I decaled it before I put these on. Um, it would just be a messy business trying to get them on beforehand. Um, make sure you put the, the cranes for the lifeboats on first, then put your lifeboats on. Um, you, you, you don't want to miss your mark on your little holes and things like that. So there, there is on. There's only a couple of them to go on. There's um, one inside the uh, lower deck. Remember the the hull. One just slots in there, and um, the crane um, was quite easy to do. Um, no fuss. Quite nicely moulded the crane. Sometimes um, they, they come in four inch parts. Um, this one was uh, the plastic, and but it was moulded really nicely, so there wasn't much modification to be done. Just a couple of seams to be taken away, and that's that. Once the crane was on, it was uh, just a matter of putting in the other uh, bits and pieces of the furniture of the ship. Um, guns and radars again, quite a lot of these. Um, these are some little guns go just going on. Um, the instructions call for white. Um, I had a look on some pictures. Um, some were cream on, on the actual gun barrels and things like that. So I did a mixture of both. I had no idea the actual colour. That was difficult to tell from the photographs. I thought really it should just be plain grey. But it made it look interesting in my point of view. And that's the beauty of building these kits. You can do it how you feel. You, you want it done. There's no hard or fast rule unless you want 100% um, represent, representation of the ship. Um, once all that was in, it was time to put on the ankles. Um, simple, uh, fitted into place rather nicely. I almost forgot to put them in, tell you the truth. And um, Carrying on with the, the little lifeboat uh, barrels and things to put on, and then it was on to put in the the rails, um, handrails around the ship. So once the, the handrails were around the back, I, 
uh, putting on the um, the loading areas um, on, on on the back. Again, they were just nice things to put in. And then it was uh, putting on the main decal on the tower. So the registration number, the 06, and um, the um, just the tiny little markings. It doesn't have many decals at all for the, the tower. So then it was on to uh, building the planes and helicopters. Um, here's some Harriers, and you see, uh, some, I think they're Hawks or Merlin planes, I can't remember now. And um, they, they are tiny, they're small, but it is worth doing them uh, properly, like you would build any um, model aircraft. So um, I just used my tweezers to hold them to paint them, and then putting put the tiny, tiny, tiny little decals in was a bit of a struggle. But once they're on, they do look like the real thing, so it's worth taking your time. That's all dry now, it's time to weather up the deck. I'm using um, the Make Oil brush here. Um, I'm just using a bit of, this is called um, Spaceship Filth. And um, just put a little bit on, and then get some thinner and brush it down to where you want it. Not all over, doesn't need all over, just where you think a lot of wear and tear on the deck would be. And then it was, after all that, it was um, weathering it with skid um, tire marks and things. And now it's on to the um, the mesh, as you can see there, the net ends at the side. And that was just some hand rails. Um, I took about three or four in a row and put them in, squished them down and then put them on. It, it doesn't look exactly like it should do, but it works. Once that was all on, I um, put in, put on a coat of varnish, um, a matte varnish on the deck before placing the um, aircraft onto the deck. And um, because of obviously the, the deck's not going to be shiny, you know. So it was just case of once it was all dry, slip and glue the um, aircraft on, and then that's the actual model done. So, simple as that, really. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and the, the brief explanation. Um, if you have time, why don't you watch my other videos? But for now, thank you all very much. Bye-bye.